I must admit, I didn't know the flag of the Gambia before I looked at this question, but it's really nice because it's got red, green and blue, and these are the primary colours of light. And we need to just sketch what you'd observe if viewed, first of all, through a red filter. So I've got some colours here. Now, looking through a red filter, this doesn't let any green light or blue light through. That all gets filtered out. It only lets in red light through. And because we've got white light, which is being reflected off the white surface, there's some red light in that, which will come through and the other colours will be stopped. So I've just got uh, this diagram down here. What I'm just gonna do is a couple of pencil lines. Um, I'm gonna do one that sort of covers the red bit and the white stripe. Um, the blue stripe is going to look black. This other white stripe is going to look red and then the green stripe at the bottom is going to look black. So I'm just going to use some colours to colour this in. On the other hand, if you didn't have colours, you could at the very least shade it in and just put something to side to, at the side to say what colours they should be. So here's my sketch. A large red stripe, um, the blue goes black, this white goes red, and the green goes black. Now we can actually test that with this other filter here. So if I use this filter and look at the flag at the top, you can see that actually does look, in real life, like my diagram, which I'm pretty happy about. Okay, what would happen if you um, viewed it through a blue filter? Well, the red should go black, the blue will stay blue, and the green will go black, but now both of these white stripes are gonna go blue as well, so it should just go black, blue, black. And there we go, that's what the Gambia flag would look like through a blue filter. Um, and again, you don't need to have coloured pencils for any exams, but it is useful having them as you're in your lessons as it really helps uh, clarify your diagrams, makes everything a little bit clearer. So that's what the same flag looks like through a red and finally a blue filter.